What's up, everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster in our awesome Midway Park. So here we go, and uh, to start this episode off, we're going to start up with uh, more uh, plants and foliage and stuff. And I know people say you got to rotate the plants, make it more realistic. You know, I get around to that, trust me. It's just, uh, again, I was so far ahead in episodes that uh, I didn't hear your feedback till like, I think it's the next episode, episode 7 or something like that. So, um, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Now, this is what a lot of people have been arguing or been going on about is the freaking queue lines are too long. So, you know what I do here? I make it even longer. That's right. So, um, there's a little bit more space there, so I decided to add a little bit more of queue line. Now, um, for those that think it's too long, um, you've... Have you even been to like Cedar Point and stuff like that? Have you seen their queue lines? It's even longer than this like These are small com probably compared to those uh, queue lines and uh, to be honest I don't think they're unrealistic the long queue lines are very realistic in many parks you see a freaking huge and I mean ginormous queue lines in um, some of the big parks like Cedar Point Disney and uh, Universal Studios, they have huge queue lines. It takes m many minutes to get through them. And, uh, of course, those are more themed. And this one is not as heavily themed, so it just pretty much zigzags around. And, uh, I mean, yeah, on the last video, I actually set a link, you know, for those who think the long queue line is unrealistic. Take a look at this picture. And it was a picture of gatekeepers uh, from Cedar Point's queue line which was like just as long if not longer than the one I have right now so um anyways I don't think they're unrealistic I think the long queue lines are very realistic um now again this isn't a theme park so there's not a lot of heavy theming around the rides so your the queue lines are going to be kind of dull and bland that's just how they are in most amusement parks because uh, they don't pay the money for the theming, they pay more money towards um, the high, you know, the high, uh, the, just the uh, state of the art attraction itself, the ride itself, to make uh, a really great coaster. They don't spend a lot of money on theming and stuff because they want to spend more money on the ride itself, on the track itself, and make it more iconic. Uh, the ride itself more than the theming around the ride so that's kind of what this park is it's not like mystic bay mystic bay was more of a theme park this one is going to have less of a theme and it's or not really much of a theme it's just going to be an amusement park pretty much and you know there's some theming here and there but uh it's more for thrills and thrill seekers and again this one is kind of more inspired by cedar point and by no means is it going to be like Cedar Point, but it's just the kind of style that it's going to have. And by no means am I going to have like sev 17 roller coasters in my park. <laughs> but anyways, we're just going to um, go with what we have right now. So I wanted to put another flat right here, but I couldn't figure out which one. And um, uh, I do end up going with the hammer swing, the s giant swing ride, uh, which I thought fit kind of well in that little spot right there. And uh, I wanted to make sure it fit uh, as best as it could, and it fit pretty nicely. And um, uh, again, you know, the long queue lines may not be realistic for, you know, um, flat rides like this and stuff. But for roller coasters, yes, roller coasters have the longest queue lines out of the entire park. Now, uh, as for the the swings, they have pretty decently long queue lines as well because they're pretty. Um, popular as, as well so they have a little bit of a queue line itself so I make it just a little bit of a queue line here um, to uh, comment I, again I'm all about realism and trust me I know a l little bit about it you know um, my home park has one of these and the queue line that I put for it right here is probably pretty accurate about how long it is so anyways I decided to try and make a barrier around this. I think by the next episode, I actually kind of delete most of it because I didn't like the look of it or, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So most of this barrier barrier around the ride does get taken out uh, at the end. Uh, so um, I just wanted to create kind of like its own perimeter area, but it didn't work out the way I'd hoped. 
So it's just going to, for right now, sit, sit there, and uh, uh, that's just how it goes. So, but um, um, go, constantly going back to the coaster area and making it better, which is kind of cool. And uh, I actually end up going and making a uh, uh, kind of a main street area as well, because you gotta have a main street area for a park like this that kind of has uh, stuff. So the next major attraction that I'm gonna be putting in which starts on the next episode, episode 7, is actually a dark ride, which is something I've been wanting to do in one of these parks for a while. I was wanted to put it in a uh, dark ride in Mystic Bay, but I never really got around to it. So uh, that never really happened. So this is going to have a dark ride slash roller coaster. It's probably going to have an outdoor part as well. So uh, I'm very excited for that because... I've never attempted a dark ride, and I've never really been good at dark rides in the past. I've made a couple on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but I uh, never really was great at them. So um, I, I want to give it a go here in Planet Coaster, because I think um, uh, you can do a lot in Planet Coaster with dark rides and stuff. Uh, is it going to be real dark? I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, I know dark rides is in the minds of the developers, so we might be seeing some cool stuff later down the road now this building over here is kind of another placeholder building not going to be too interactive it's just kind of another building out there that uh, I wanted to make I wanted to make a really unique or really cool um, shaped building so it has like a slanted area as well uh, as well as just a normal area next that kind of goes around the pathway and I really like buildings like that I think they look quite neat and look really cool uh, when you curve it around the path, it just gives it a more realistic and cool, or really cool feel to it, so, uh, really nice. <clears throat> and I think my, uh, roofing skills are getting a little bit better, too. Um, I think they're starting to look a little more unique and, uh, kind of cool, so. And now I just need to get some, uh, experience in making some different texture type roofs, because these same roofs are kind of getting... Uh, boring in my opinion and I'm sure you guys agree so I need to get s <laughs> get on with something there uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to it this park but I just need to do a little bit more experimenting and we'll see how all that ends up uh, at the end of uh, this park um, and stuff like that so I do I do just do a little bit of experiment uh, with uh, some stuff like I actually made my own chain link fence in the next episode which I was pretty proud of, not gonna lie, and uh, to create perimeter fences around the coaster, and that's something I definitely want to have is perimeter fences around the coaster. I want to add a lot more to this park than what I did in Mis Ma uh, Mystic Bay. I think it's going to be uh, just a little bit uh, neater in the end, uh, so it's gonna be a little bit more realistic. It's gonna have um, it's gonna have more realism with like you know uh the perimeter fences around the coasters and just uh more realistic queue lines which some people have already stated that they think is unrealistic when they actually are pretty realistic so <clears throat> i don't care whatever anyone really says about the queue lines they're gonna be pretty long because that's just how it's going to be because uh the type of park i'm going with that that's how they need to be and I know people say it they're boring and awful I'm like well yeah that's because it's not a theme park it's an amusement park with you know long queue lines with not much theming around them because the park decided to spend more money on the coaster itself rather than theming so that's where that's at and I like to connect my pathways to these doors uh, quite a bit because I find it really cool and if there's nothing actually over there, the guests actually won't really walk over and go through the door. So, um, at least I hope not. <laughs> if not, if they do, oh well, who cares? <clears throat> but, um, yeah, another cool building that went around here. Um, the one thing I think I need to work on is building attachments and stuff. As you can see, we need to really work on the right side of the park, which I do start to get into in the next episode. So, uh, now I decided to... Uh, create a little more environment for the coaster over here as uh, there's not much to it and I wanted to add some trees and foli 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 fo foliage <laughs> and over here and uh, it, just to make it a little bit better and I still are I, even in episode 7 are making 
some adjustments to the layout of the ride. Now, now since I'm not an es expert coaster builder, um, I'm making lots of adjustments until it is the POV is properly smooth and everything like that. Um, so that is one thing that uh, needed to be worked on. Now I wanted to focus a little bit over here by the observation area. So there's a lot of um, a lot of going on over here. Uh, as you can see, it was a man-made uh, kind of terrainy spot. So I added a little bit of sand spot right there to make it look like that. Add some more rocks around the area and some plants and uh, some bushes and stuff just to give it a nice awesome feel for when the coaster goes by. And I actually do adjust this element in uh, the next episode. I can't remember if I did it off screen or on screen, but uh, I believe I did it off screen. I actually had to make this element a little bit taller. That way the coaster doesn't fly through it so fast like it does uh, currently. And uh, that was kind of a necessary thing, otherwise the coaster just like flies through it unrealistically and I didn't really care for it. And it still might need some adjusting after that, so I really like the uh, um, the uh, transfer track. I thought that was kind of a neat little touch on the ride itself. So um, the exit area, I want to spice it up just a little bit because it's just a long wall of nothing. And maybe add some slight theming to it or some lamps and just little things here and there to make it more appealing. So this park is... Um, um, actually one of the favorites that I've made so far, and I can't wait to get more into it, and I have no idea how many episodes this park will take. It might take more, it might take less than uh, Mystic Bay, who knows. Um, I am planning it on it to be a little bit bigger than Mystic Bay, uh, possibly. We're looking at maybe four or five coasters. I'm not focusing on, uh, Kajillion coasters. I don't want the game to lag as much as Mystic Bay did. But even though it probably will, even though Mystic Bay lagged, but it wasn't a terrible type lag. You know, the game was still playable even through that. So that's what I'm trying to do in the editing process is to make that those look good in the cinematic video of Mystic Bay. Because um, those POVs were pretty laggy. And I'm trying to make it look as best as it can, even though it is slightly laggy. And I'm um, working on those. I'm just slightly. And if you speed the video up a little bit it actually helps just a little bit with that lag like just in the slightest not enough because it actually slows down when it's lagging so um you want to try and speed it up just a smidge and uh it becomes really cool so anyway this that's about it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow thanks so much for watching and goodbye